Okay, here I am down in my basement again. <laughs> um, I want to do a very fast uh, lesson today on a couple more leg thrusts. I have given you uh, video lessons on the front, the front uh, thrust, uh, also the shin thrust, and uh, the stomp thrust. And these are all very good thrusts. All of the thrusts go to this area of the body, right in through here. Uh, because we're not using this to, for sparring. This is not to be used in the dojo at all on anyone. This is, this is what you hit with these leg thrusts, because they really explode and they hit very, very hard. Two that I haven't done yet, and I, and I promised uh, that I would do this, um, is the side kick leg thrust uh, and the back kick leg thrust and they're very very tight uh, you don't this is not for sparring so there is no elevation of the knee uh, in in any of the leg thrusts all right so the side leg and and they're very close quarter they hit very very tight for any self-defense street situation you're not you're not sparring out there you're just hitting hard. And there's a difference between just hitting hard and sparring and fighting. A huge, huge difference. And I've gone over this many, many, many times. So let me just show you the side thrust. Looks real simple. And, and quite frankly, I think it is uh, something you have to work on, though. And also the back thrust. Why? Because in a situation out in the street, you never know when you're going to get turned you can't always face the attacker or attackers, plural. So many times you get turned. So you get turned here, you have an attacker over here, there's another one over here. So these, the side thrust, side kick thrust, leg thrust, and the back thrust are very, very important to go along with the other thrusts that I have. These are not kicks. These are leg thrusts. A slight bend in the knee, and that's all. Now... The side one comes right from the floor. This leg, this foot does not elevate prior to the kick. That's a side kick. That's a side kick. In all my years of fighting, I saw many, many side kicks. Hopefully they all missed me. <laughs> so, but this is a thrust. It comes right from the floor, right out. Give a little look and it just skips. Just skips along the floor and it buries right in through here, right in through here, maybe up in through this area, right about here. Now you can see I've got the bag very, very low here down in my cellar. I don't really raise it any higher than that. About a arm's distance away from right here and just skip it, take a little look, bang, right in through there. Not complicated, but that kick right there or that thrust will go right in through here. After that, you can follow up with, with, with other things. But that particular thrust right now hits very, very hard in through here. Easy. So skip, bang. Skip, bang. Right in through here. Side, back. Coming from the back. Turning from the back, it is not a long back kick where you have an elevation of the knee, okay, or a wheel kick that comes around. All of those kicks are fantastic. If you can do them, practice them. If you can't do them, practice them because they're good. But the, these are leg thrusts, entirely different. These are not for the dojo. This is for outside, okay, practice in the dojo. But from here... A turn, a slight turn, drop that chin on the shoulder and just skip it once again from here. And that right there will go here. What you have to be careful of, people, is the, the upper body. Because if your upper body tilts a little bit, the kick will go up. I mean, even I can do it. This old dog can still get that kick up there. All I have to do is tilt my upper body just a little bit, and that kick will go straight up. Well, I don't want to do that. I don't want to put the kick up here. 
because you can see it. You can get a hand on it. I don't want it here. I want it right here where I want to cause as, as much damage as quickly as I can. And it's in a real uh, self-defense situation. I just want to get out of there. Okay, I'll make sure he doesn't hurt me. So I want to make sure I cause a lot of damage fast. And these leg thrusts will do just that. So, turning, a slight look, bang. If you notice, this foot does not elevate that much. I just run the foot along the ground. Along the ground. And it skips right from the ground. Watch it again. The foot goes from the ground in, into the target. It doesn't elevate prior to the kick or the, or the thrust. Right from the ground, right up. Hits right in through here. So you have the back and you have the side. Don't forget the others. The front, right in through here. I've done this a thousand times. Like a, just like a gigantic step. A big step. The foot doesn't go very high. Hits right in through here. Especially up in the pelvis and of course the groin. The stomp kick, which is right in here. Again, just like a front, only at the end it turns. Bang, hits very, very hard. Stomp right in through here. The leg does not bend that way. So if you do the stomp in here, causes a lot of damage. And again, my favorite, the shin thrust, where you hit with the shin and not the foot, get the hands up, put the hands up here because once this hits, I'm going to work. I'm going to work up top. This shin thrust slams right into the upper leg. Sometimes, if you get carried away, it'll slam into the pelvis. And then you go to work over here. Leg thrusts. Practice them. You want them in your arsenal. It's something very, very good to have. Thank you for watching.